Digital marketing is the marketing of products or services using digital technologies, mainly on the Internet, but also including mobile phones, display advertising, and any other digital medium. Digital marketing channels are systems based on the Internet that can create, accelerate, and transmit product value from producer to the terminal consumer by digital networks. Digital marketing's development since the 1990s and 2000s has changed the way brands and businesses use technology for marketing. As digital platforms are increasingly incorporated into marketing plans and everyday life, and as people use digital devices instead of visiting physical shops, digital marketing campaigns are becoming more prevalent and efficient. Digital marketing methods such as search engine optimization CO, search engine marketing SEM, content marketing, influencer marketing, content automation, campaign marketing, data-driven marketing, e-commerce marketing, social media marketing, social media optimization, email direct marketing, display advertising, e-books, and optical discs and games are becoming more common in our advancing technology. In fact, digital marketing now extends to non-internet channels that provide digital media, such as mobile phones SMS and MMS, callback, and on-hold mobile ringtones. In essence, this extension to non-internet channels helps to differentiate digital marketing from online marketing, another catch-all term for the marketing methods mentioned above, which strictly occur online. Topic history The development of digital marketing is inseparable from technology development. One of the key points in the start of was in 1971, where Ray Tomlinson sent the very first email and his technology set the platform to allow people to send and receive files through different machines. However, the more recognizable period as being the start of digital marketing is 1990 as this was where the Archie search engine was created as an index for FTP sites. In the 1980s, the storage capacity of computer was already big enough to store huge volumes of customer information. Companies started choosing online techniques, such as database marketing, rather than limited list broker. This kind of databases allowed companies to track customers' information more effectively, thus transforming the relationship between buyer and seller. However, the manual process was not so efficient. In the 1990s, the term digital marketing was first coined. With the debut of server-client architecture and the popularity of personal computers, the customer relationship management CRM applications became a significant part of marketing technology. Fierce competition forced vendors to include more service into their software, for example, marketing, sales and service applications. Marketers were also able to own huge online customer data by eCRM software after the Internet was born. Companies could update the data of customer needs and obtain the priorities of their experience. This led to the first clickable banner ad being going live in 1994, which was the You Will campaign by AT&T and over the first four months of it going live, 44% of all people who saw it clicked on the ad. In the 2000s, with more and more internet users and the birth of iPhone, customers started searching products and making decisions about their needs online first, instead of consulting a salesperson, which created a new problem for the marketing department of a company. In addition, a survey in 2000 in the United Kingdom found that most retailers had not registered their own domain address. These problems made marketers find the digital ways for market development. In 2007, the concept of marketing automation was raised to solve the problem above. Marketing automation helped companies segment customers, launch multi-channel marketing campaigns and provide personalized information for customers. However, the speed of its adaptability to consumer devices was not fast enough. Digital marketing became more sophisticated in the 2000s and the 2010s, when the proliferation of devices capable of accessing digital media led to sudden growth. Statistics produced in 2012 and 2013 showed that digital marketing was still growing. With the development of social media in the 2000s, such as LinkedIn, Facebook, YouTube and Twitter, consumers became highly dependent on digital electronics in daily lives. Therefore, they expected a seamless user experience across different channels for searching products information. 
The change of customer behavior improved the diversification of marketing technology. Digital marketing is also referred to as online marketing, internet marketing, or web marketing. The term digital marketing has grown in popularity over time. In the USA, online marketing is still a popular term. In Italy, digital marketing is referred to as web marketing. Worldwide digital marketing has become the most common term, especially after the year 2013. Digital media growth was estimated at 4.5 trillion online ads served annually with digital media spend at 48% growth in 2010. An increasing portion of advertising stems from businesses employing online behavioral advertising OBA to tailor advertising for Internet users, but OBA raises concern of consumer privacy and data protection. Topic. New nonlinear marketing approach In order to engage customers, retailers must shift from a linear marketing approach of one-way communication to a value exchange model of mutual dialogue and benefit sharing between provider and consumer. Exchanges are more non-linear, free-flowing, and both one-to-many or one-on-one. -on -one. The spread of information and awareness can occur across numerous channels, such as the blogosphere, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Pinterest, and a variety of other platforms. Online communities and social networks allow individuals to easily create content and publicly publish their opinions, experiences, and thoughts and feelings about many topics and products, hyper-accelerating the diffusion of information. The Nielsen Global Connected Commerce Survey conducted interviews in 26 countries to observe how consumers are using the Internet to make shopping decisions in stores and online. Online shoppers are increasingly looking to purchase internationally, with over 50% in the study who purchased online in the last six months stating they bought from an overseas retailer. Using an omni-channel strategy is becoming increasingly important for enterprises who must adapt to the changing expectations of consumers who want ever more sophisticated offerings throughout the purchasing journey. Retailers are increasingly focusing on their online presence, including online shops that operate alongside existing store-based outlets. The endless aisle within the retail space can lead consumers to purchase products online that fit their needs while retailers do not have to carry the inventory within the physical location of the store. Solely internet-based retailers are also entering the market, some are establishing corresponding store-based outlets to provide personal services, professional help, and tangible experiences with their products. An omni-channel approach not only benefits consumers but also benefits business bottom line. Research suggests that customers spend more than double when purchasing through an omni-channel retailer as opposed to a single-channel retailer, and are often more loyal. This could be due to the ease of purchase and the wider availability of products. Customers are often researching online and then buying in stores and also browsing in stores and then searching for other options online. Online customer research into products is particularly popular for higher priced items as well as consumable goods like groceries and makeup. Consumers are increasingly using the internet to look up product information, compare prices, and search for deals and promotions. Topic. Use in the digital era There are a number of ways brands can use digital marketing to benefit their marketing efforts. The use of digital marketing in the digital era not only allows for brands to market their products and services, but also allows for online customer support through 24-7 services to make customers feel supported and valued. The use of social media interaction allows brands to receive both positive and negative feedback from their customers as well as determining what media platforms work well for them. As such, digital marketing has become an increased advantage for brands and businesses. It is now common for consumers to post feedback online through social media sources, blogs and websites on their experience with a product or brand. It has become increasingly popular for businesses to use and encourage these conversations through their social media channels to have direct contact with the customers and manage the feedback they receive appropriately. 
Word-of-mouth communications and peer-to-peer -peer dialogue often have a greater effect on customers, since they are not sent directly from the company and are therefore not planned. Customers are more likely to trust other customers' experiences. Examples can be that social media users share food products and meal experiences highlighting certain brands and franchises. This was noted in a study on Instagram, where researchers observed that adolescent Instagram users posted images of food-related experiences within their social networks, providing free advertising for the products. It is increasingly advantageous for companies to use social media platforms to connect with their customers and create these dialogues and discussions. The potential reach of social media is indicated by the fact that in 2015, each month the Facebook app had more than 126 million average unique users and YouTube had over 97 million average unique users. <laughs> <laughs> Brand awareness Ease of access A key objective is engaging digital marketing customers and allowing them to interact with the brand through servicing and delivery of digital media. Information is easy to access at a fast rate through the use of digital communications. Users with access to the Internet can use many digital mediums, such as Facebook, YouTube, forums, and email etc. Through digital communications it creates a multi-communication channel where information can be quickly shared around the world by anyone without any regard to who they are. Social segregation plays no part through social mediums due to lack of face-to-face -face communication and information being widespread instead to a selective audience. This interactive nature allows consumers create conversation in which the targeted audience is able to ask questions about the brand and get familiar with it which traditional forms of marketing may not offer. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Competitive advantage. By using internet platforms, businesses can create competitive advantage through various means. To reach the maximum potential of digital marketing, firms use social media as its main tool to create a channel of information. Through this a business can create a system in which they are able to pinpoint behavioral patterns of clients and feedback on their needs. This means of content has shown to have a larger impingement on those who have a long-standing relationship with the firm and with consumers who are relatively active social media users. Relative to this, creating a social media page will further increase relation quality between new consumers and existing consumers as well as consistent brand reinforcement therefore improving brand awareness resulting in a possible rise for consumers up the brand awareness pyramid. Although there may be inconstancy with product images, maintaining a successful social media presence requires a business to be consistent in interactions through creating a two way feed of information. Firms consider their content based on the feedback received through this channel. This is a result of the environment being dynamic due to the global nature of the Internet. Effective use of digital marketing can result in relatively lowered costs in relation to traditional means of marketing, lowered external service costs, advertising costs, promotion costs, processing costs, interface design costs and control costs. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Effectiveness Brand awareness has been proven to work with more effectiveness in countries that are high in uncertainty avoidance, also these countries that have uncertainty avoidance, social media marketing works effectively. Yet brands must be careful not to be excessive on the use of this type of marketing, as well as solely relying on it as it may have implications that could negatively harness their image. Brands that represent themselves in an anthropomorphizing manner are more likely to succeed in situations where a brand is marketing to this demographic. Since social media use can enhance the knowledge of the brand and thus decrease the uncertainty, it is possible that people with high uncertainty avoidance, such as the French, will particularly appreciate the high social media interaction with an anthropomorphized brand. Moreover, digital platform provides an ease to the brand and its customers to interact directly and exchange their motives virtually. Topic: 
Topic: <laughs> Latest developments and strategies. One of the major changes that occurred in traditional marketing was the emergence of digital marketing. Patricio Baltes, Laudana, 2015, this led to the reinvention of marketing strategies in order to adapt to this major change in traditional marketing Patricio Baltes, Laudana, 2015. As digital marketing is dependent on technology which is ever-evolving and fast-changing, the same features should be expected from digital marketing developments and strategies. This portion is an attempt to qualify or segregate the notable highlights existing and being used as of press time. Segmentation. More focus has been placed on segmentation within digital marketing, in order to target specific markets in both business-to-business -business and business-to-consumer sectors. Influencer marketing. Important nodes are identified within related communities, known as influencers. This is becoming an important concept in digital targeting. It is possible to reach influencers via paid advertising, such as Facebook advertising or Google AdWords campaigns, or through sophisticated SCRM social customer relationship management software, such as SAP C4C, Microsoft Dynamics, Sage CRM and Salesforce CRM. Many universities now focus, at master's level, on engagement strategies for influencers. To summarize, pull digital marketing is characterized by consumers actively seeking marketing content while push digital marketing occurs when marketers send messages without that content being actively sought by the recipients. Online behavioral advertising is the practice of collecting information about a user's online activity over time, on a particular device and across different, unrelated websites, in order to deliver advertisements tailored to that user's interests and preferences. Collaborative environment. A collaborative environment can be set up between the organization, the technology service provider, and the digital agencies to optimize effort, resource sharing, reusability and communications. Additionally, organizations are inviting their customers to help them better understand how to service them. This source of data is called user-generated content. Much of this is acquired via company websites where the organization invites people to share ideas that are then evaluated by other users of the site. The most popular ideas are evaluated and implemented in some form. Using this method of acquiring data and developing new products can foster the organization's relationship with their customer as well as spawn ideas that would otherwise be overlooked. UGC is low-cost advertising as it is directly from the consumers and can save advertising costs for the organization. Data-driven advertising. Users generate a lot of data in every step they take on the path of customer journey and brands can now use that data to activate their known audience with data-driven programmatic media buying. Without exposing customers' privacy, users' data can be collected from digital channels e.g., when customer visits a website, reads an email, or launches and interact with brand's mobile app. Brands can also collect data from real-world customer interactions, such as brick-and-mortar stores' visits and from CRM and sales engines' datasets. Also known as people-based marketing or addressable media, data-driven advertising is empowering brands to find their loyal customers in their audience and deliver in real time a much more personal communication, highly relevant to each customer's moment and actions. An important consideration today while deciding on a strategy is that the digital tools have democratized the promotional landscape. 5. Remarketing. Remarketing plays a major role in digital marketing. This tactic allows marketers to publish targeted ads in front of an interest category or a defined audience, generally called searches in web speak. They have either searched for particular products or services or visited a website for some purpose. 6. Game advertising. Game ads are advertisements that exist within computer or video games. One of the most common examples of in-game advertising is billboards appearing in sports games. In-game ads also might appear as brand name products like guns, cars, or clothing that exist as gaming status symbols. The new digital era has enabled brands to selectively target their customers that may potentially be interested in their brand or based on previous browsing interests. Businesses can now use social media to select the age range, location, gender and interests of whom they would like their targeted post to be seen by. 
Furthermore, based on a customer's recent search history they can be followed on the internet so they see advertisements from similar brands, products and services. This allows businesses to target the specific customers that they know and feel will most benefit from their product or service, something that had limited capabilities up until the digital era. Topic: Ineffective forms of digital marketing. Digital marketing activity is still growing across the world according to the headline Global Marketing Index. A study published in September 2018, found that global outlays on digital marketing tactics are approaching $100 billion. Digital media continues to rapidly grow, while the marketing budgets are expanding, traditional media is declining World Economics, 2015. Digital media helps brands reach consumers to engage with their product or service in a personalized way. Five areas, which are outlined as current industry practices that are often ineffective are prioritizing clicks, balancing search and display, understanding mobiles, targeting, viewability, brand safety and invalid traffic, and cross-platform measurement Whiteside, 2016. Why these practices are ineffective and some ways around making these aspects effective are discussed surrounding the following points. Topic. Prioritizing clicks Prioritizing clicks refers to display click ads, although advantageous by being simple, fast and inexpensive rates for display ads in 2016 is only 0.10% in the United States. This means one in a thousand click ads are relevant therefore having little effect. This displays that marketing companies should not just use click ads to evaluate the effectiveness of display advertisements Whiteside, 2016. Topic balancing search and display Balancing search and display for digital display ads are important. Marketers tend to look at the last search and attribute all of the effectiveness to this. This then disregards other marketing efforts, which establish brand value within the consumer's mind. Comscore determined through drawing on data online, produced by over 100 multi-channel retailers that digital display marketing poses strengths when compared with or positioned alongside, paid search Whiteside, 2016. This is why it is advised that when someone clicks on a display ad the company opens a landing page, not its home page. A landing page typically has something to draw the customer into search beyond this page. Things such as free offers that the consumer can obtain through giving the company contact information so that they can use retargeting communication strategies Square 2 Marketing, 2012. Commonly marketers see increased sales among people exposed to a search ad. But the fact of how many people you can reach with a display campaign compared to a search campaign should be considered. Multi-channel retailers have an increased reach if the display is considered in synergy with search campaigns. Overall both search and display aspects are valued as display campaigns build awareness for the brand so that more people are likely to click on these digital ads when running a search campaign Whiteside, 2016, understanding mobiles, understanding mobile devices is a significant aspect of digital marketing because smartphones and tablets are now responsible for 64% of the time U.S. consumers are online Whiteside, 2016. Apps provide a big opportunity as well as challenge for the marketers because firstly the app needs to be downloaded and secondly the person needs to actually use it. This may be difficult as half the time spent on smartphone apps occurs on the individual's single most used app, and almost 85% of their time on the top four rated apps Whiteside, 2016. Mobile advertising can assist in achieving a variety of commercial objectives and it is effective due to taking over the entire screen, and voice or status is likely to be considered highly, although the message must not be seen or thought of as intrusive Whiteside, 2016. Disadvantages of digital media used on mobile devices also include limited creative capabilities, and reach. 
Although there are many positive aspects including the user's entitlement to select product information, digital media creating a flexible message platform and there is potential for direct selling Belch and Belch, 2012, cross-platform measurement, the number of marketing channels continues to expand, as measurement practices are growing in complexity. A cross-platform view must be used to unify audience measurement and media planning. Market researchers need to understand how the omni-channel affects consumers' behavior, although when advertisements are on a consumer's device this does not get measured. Significant aspects to cross-platform measurement involves deduplication and understanding that you have reached an incremental level with another platform, rather than delivering more impressions against people that have previously been reached Whiteside, 2016. An example is ESPN and Comscore partnered on Project Blueprint discovering the sports broadcaster achieved a 21% increase in unduplicated daily reach thanks to digital advertising Whiteside, 2016. Television and radio industries are the electronic media, which competes with digital and other technological advertising. Yet television advertising is not directly competing with online digital advertising due to being able to cross-platform with digital technology. Radio also gains power through cross-platforms, in online streaming content. Television and radio continue to persuade and affect the audience, across multiple platforms Phil, Hughes, and DeFrancesco, 2013, targeting, viewability, brand safety and invalid traffic, targeting, viewability, brand safety and invalid traffic all are aspects used by marketers to help advocate digital advertising. Cookies are a form of digital advertising, which are tracking tools within desktop devices, causing difficulty, with shortcomings including deletion by web browsers, the inability to sort between multiple users of a device, inaccurate estimates for unique visitors, overstating reach, understanding frequency, problems with ad servers, which cannot distinguish between when cookies have been deleted and when consumers have not previously been exposed to an ad. Due to the inaccuracies influenced by cookies, demographics in the target market are low and vary Whiteside, 2016. Another element, which is affected within digital marketing, is viewability or whether the ad was actually seen by the consumer. Many ads are not seen by a consumer and may never reach the right demographic segment. Brand safety is another issue of whether or not the ad was produced in the context of being unethical or having offensive content. Recognizing fraud when an ad is exposed is another challenge marketers face. This relates to invalid traffic as premium sites are more effective at detecting fraudulent traffic, although non-premium sites are more so the problem Whiteside, 2016. <laughs> <laughs> Channels Digital marketing is facilitated by multiple channels, as an advertiser one's core objective is to find channels which result in maximum two-way communication and a better overall ROI for the brand. There are multiple digital marketing channels available namely Affiliate marketing – Affiliate marketing is perceived to not be considered a safe, reliable and easy means of marketing through online platform. This is due to a lack of reliability in terms of affiliates that can produce the demanded number of new customers. As a result of this risk and bad affiliates it leaves the brand prone to exploitation in terms of claiming commission that isn't honestly acquired. Legal means may offer some protection against this, yet there are limitations in recovering any losses or investment. Despite this, affiliate marketing allows the brand to market towards smaller publishers, and websites with smaller traffic. Brands that choose to use this marketing often should beware of such risks involved and look to associate with affiliates in which rules are laid down between the parties involved to assure and minimize the risk involved. Display advertising, as the term implies, online display advertising deals with showcasing promotional messages or ideas to the consumer on the internet. This includes a wide range of advertisements like advertising blogs, networks, interstitial ads, contextual data, ads on the search engines, classified or dynamic advertisement etc. The method can target specific audience tuning in from different types of locals to view a particular advertisement. The variations can be found as the most productive element of this method. 
Email marketing – Email marketing in comparison to other forms of digital marketing is considered cheap, it is also a way to rapidly communicate a message such as their value proposition to existing or potential customers. Yet this channel of communication may be perceived by recipients to be bothersome and irritating especially to new or potential customers, therefore the success of email marketing is reliant on the language and visual appeal applied. In terms of visual appeal, there are indications that using graphics, visuals that are relevant to the message which is attempting to be sent, yet less visual graphics to be applied with initial emails are more effective in turn creating a relatively personal feel to the email. In terms of language, the style is the main factor in determining how captivating the email is. Using casual tone invokes a warmer and gentle and inviting feel to the email in comparison to a formal style. For combinations, it's suggested that to maximize effectiveness, using no graphics, visual alongside casual language. In contrast using no visual appeal and a formal language style is seen as the least effective method. Search engine marketing Search engine marketing SEM, is a form of internet marketing that involves the promotion of websites by increasing their visibility in search engine results pages SERPs, primarily through paid advertising. SEM may incorporate search engine optimization, which adjusts or rewrites website content and site architecture to achieve a higher ranking in search engine results pages to enhance pay-per-click listings. Social media marketing, the term digital marketing, has a number of marketing facets as it supports different channels used in and among these, comes the social media. When we use social media channels Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, Instagram, Google+, etc. to market a product or service, the strategy is called social media marketing. It is a procedure wherein strategies are made and executed to draw in traffic for a website or to gain attention of buyers over the web using different social media platforms. Social networking service. A social networking is an online platform which people use to build social networks or social relations with other people who share similar personal or career interests, activities, backgrounds or real-life connections. In-game advertising, in-game advertising is defined as inclusion of products or brands within a digital game. The game allows brands or products to place ads within their game, either in a subtle manner or in the form of an advertisement banner. There are many factors that exist in whether brands are successful in their advertising of their brand, product, these being, type of game, technical platform, 3D and 4D technology, game genre, congruity of brand and game, prominence of advertising within the game. Individual factors consist of attitudes towards placement advertisements, game involvement, product involvement, flow or entertainment. The attitude towards the advertising also takes into account not only the message shown but also the attitude towards the game. Dependent of how enjoyable the game is will determine how the brand is perceived, meaning if the game isn't very enjoyable the consumer may subconsciously have a negative attitude towards the brand – product being advertised. In terms of integrated marketing communication, Integration of advertising in digital games into the general advertising, communication, and marketing strategy of the firm is an important as it results in a more clarity about the brand, product and creates a larger overall effect. Online public relations video advertising, this type of advertising in terms of digital, online means or advertisements that play on online videos e.g. YouTube videos. This type of marketing has seen an increase in popularity over time. Online video advertising usually consists of three types, pre-roll advertisements which play before the video is watched, mid-roll advertisements which play during the video, or post-roll advertisements which play after the video is watched. Post-roll advertisements were shown to have better brand recognition in relation to the other types, whereas Add context congruity, incongruity plays an important role in reinforcing ad memorability. Due to selective attention from viewers, there is the likelihood that the message may not be received. The main advantage of video advertising is that it disrupts the viewing experience of the video and therefore there is a difficulty in attempting to avoid them. 
How a consumer interacts with online video advertising can come down to three stages, pre-attention, attention, and behavioral decision. These online advertisements give the brand, business options and choices. These consist of length, position, adjacent video content which all directly affect the effectiveness of the produced advertisement time, therefore manipulating these variables will yield different results. Length of the advertisement has shown to affect memorability whereas longer duration resulted in increased brand recognition. This type of advertising, due to its nature of interruption of the viewer, it is likely that the consumer may feel as if their experience is being interrupted or invaded, creating negative perception of the brand. These advertisements are also available to be shared by the viewers, adding to the attractiveness of this platform. Sharing these videos can be equated to the online version of word-by-mouth marketing, extending number of people reached. Sharing videos creates six different outcomes, these being pleasure, affection, inclusion, escape, relaxation, and control. As well, videos that have entertainment value are more likely to be shared, yet pleasure is the strongest motivator to pass videos on. Creating a viral trend from mass amount of a brand's advertisement can maximize the outcome of an online video advert whether it be positive or a negative outcome. It is important for a firm to reach out to consumers and create a two-way communication model, as digital marketing allows consumers to give back feedback to the firm on a community-based site or straight directly to the firm via email. Firms should seek this long-term communication relationship by using multiple forms of channels and using promotional strategies related to their target consumer as well as word-of-mouth marketing. Self-regulation The ICC code has integrated rules that apply to marketing communications using digital interactive media throughout the guidelines. There is also an entirely updated section dealing with issues specific to digital interactive media techniques and platforms. Code self-regulation on use of digital interactive media includes Clear and transparent mechanisms to enable consumers to choose not to have their data collected for advertising or marketing purposes. Clear indication that a social network site is commercial and is under the control or influence of a marketer. Limits are set so that marketers communicate directly only when there are reasonable grounds to believe that the consumer has an interest in what is being offered. Respect for the rules and standards of acceptable commercial behavior in social networks and the posting of marketing messages only when the forum or site has clearly indicated its willingness to receive them. Special attention and protection for children. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Advantages and limitations. The whole idea of digital marketing can be a very important aspect in the overall communication between the consumer and the organization. This is due to digital marketing being able to reach vast numbers of potential consumers at one time. Another advantage of digital marketing is that consumers are exposed to the brand and the product that is being advertised directly. To clarify the advertisement is easy to access as well it can be accessed anytime any place. However, with digital marketing there are some setbacks to this type of strategy. One major setback that is identified is that digital marketing is highly dependent on the internet. This can be considered as a setback because the internet may not be accessible in certain areas or consumers may have poor internet connection, as well as digital marketing being highly dependent on the internet is that it is subject to a lot of clutter, so it marketers may find it hard to make their advertisements stand out, as well as get consumers to start conversations about an organization's brand image or products. As digital marketing continues to grow and develop, brands take great advantage of using technology and the Internet as a successful way to communicate with its clients and allows them to increase the reach of who they can interact with and how they go about doing so. There are however disadvantages that are not commonly looked into due to how much a business relies on it. It is important for marketers to take into consideration both advantages and disadvantages of digital marketing when considering their marketing strategy and business goals. 
An advantage of digital marketing is that the reach is so large that there are no limitations on the geographical reach it can have. This allows companies to become international and expand their customer reach to other countries other than the country it is based or originates from. As mentioned earlier, technology and the Internet allows for 24 hours a day, 7 days a week service for customers as well as enabling them to shop online at any hour of that day or night, not just when the shops are over and across the whole world. This is a huge advantage for retailers to use it and direct customers from the store to its online store. It has also opened up an opportunity for companies to only be online based rather than having an outlet or store due to the popularity and capabilities of digital marketing. Another advantage is that digital marketing is easy to be measured allowing businesses to know the reach that their marketing is making, whether the digital marketing is working or not and the amount of activity and conversation that is involved. With brands using the internet space to reach their target customers, digital marketing has become a beneficial career option as well. At present, companies are more into hiring individuals familiar in implementing digital marketing strategies and this has led the stream to become a preferred choice amongst individuals inspiring institutes to come up and offer professional courses in digital marketing. A disadvantage of digital advertising is the large amount of competing goods and services that are also using the same digital marketing strategies. For example, when someone searches for a specific product from a specific company online, if a similar company uses targeted advertising online then they can appear on the customer's home page, allowing the customer to look at alternative options for a cheaper price or better quality of the same product or a quicker way of finding what they want online. Some companies can be portrayed by customers negatively as some consumers lack trust online due to the amount of advertising that appears on websites and social media that can be considered frauds. This can affect their image and reputation and make them out to look like a dishonest brand. Another disadvantage is that even an individual or small group of people can harm image of an established brand. For instance Doppelgnager is a term that is used to disapprove an image about a certain brand that is spread by anti-brand activists, bloggers, and opinion leaders. The word Doppelganger is a combination of two German words Doppel double, and Ganger walker, thus it means double walker or as in English it is said alter ego. Generally brand creates images for itself to emotionally appeal to their customers. However some would disagree with this image and make alterations to this image and present in funny or cynical way, hence distorting the brand image, hence creating a doppelganger image, blog or content Reinfleisch, 2016. Two other practical limitations can be seen in the case of digital marketing. One, digital marketing is useful for specific categories of products, meaning only consumer goods can be propagated through digital channels, industrial goods and pharmaceutical products cannot be marketed through digital channels. Secondly, digital marketing disseminates only the information to the prospects most of whom do not have the purchasing authority, power. And hence the reflection of digital marketing into real sales volume is skeptical, measuring the effectiveness of digital marketing campaigns. Although the ultimate criteria to evaluate any business initiative should be its return on investment or any other financial metrics in general, the evaluation criteria and metrics for the digital marketing campaigns can be discussed in more details. The criteria and metrics can be classified according to its type and time span. Regarding the type, we can either evaluate these campaigns quantitatively or qualitatively. Quantitative metrics may include sales volume and revenue increase, decrease, while qualitative metrics may include the enhanced brand awareness, image and health, as well as the relationship with the customers. Shifting the focus to the time span, we may need to measure some interim metrics, which give us some insight during the journey itself, as well as we need to measure some final metrics at the end of the journey to inform use if the overall initiative was successful or not. As an example, most of social media metrics and indicators such as likes, shares and engagement comments may be classified as interim metrics while the final increase, decrease in sales volume is clearly from the final category. The correlation between these categories should exist. 
Otherwise, a disappointing results may happen at the end in, spite of the illusion of success perceived early during the project. Topic. Strategy Topic. Planning Digital marketing planning is a term used in marketing management. It describes the first stage of forming a digital marketing strategy for the wider digital marketing system. The difference between digital and traditional marketing planning is that it uses digitally based communication tools and technology such as social, web, mobile, scannable surface. Nevertheless, both are aligned with the vision, the mission of the company and the overarching business strategy. Topic. Stages of planning Using Dr. Dave Chafee's approach, the Digital Marketing Planning DMP, has three main stages, opportunity, strategy and action. He suggests that any business looking to implement a successful digital marketing strategy must structure their plan by looking at opportunity, strategy and action. This generic strategic approach often has phases of situation review, goal setting, strategy formulation, resource allocation and monitoring. Topic 1 Opportunity To create an effective DMP, a business first needs to review the marketplace and set smart, specific, measurable, actionable, relevant and time-bound objectives. They can set smart objectives by reviewing the current benchmarks and key performance indicators KPIs of the company and competitors. It is pertinent that the analytics used for the KPIs be customized to the type, objectives, mission and vision of the company. Companies can scan for marketing and sales opportunities by reviewing their own outreach as well as influencer outreach. This means they have competitive advantage because they are able to analyze their co-marketers' influence and brand associations. To seize opportunity, the firm should summarize their current customers' personas and purchase journey from this they are able to deduce their digital marketing capability. This means they need to form a clear picture of where they are currently and how many resources they can allocate for their digital marketing strategy i.e. labor, time etc. By summarizing the purchase journey, they can also recognize gaps and growth for future marketing opportunities that will either meet objectives or propose new objectives and increase profit. Topic 2. Strategy. To create a planned digital strategy, the company must review their digital proposition what you are offering to consumers and communicate it using digital customer targeting techniques. So, they must define online value proposition OVP. This means the company must express clearly what they are offering customers online e.g. brand positioning. The company should also re select target market segments and personas and define digital targeting approaches. After doing this effectively, it is important to review the marketing mix for online options. The marketing mix comprises the four Peter seconds, product, price, promotion and place. Some academics have added three additional elements to the traditional four Peter seconds of marketing process, place and physical appearance making it seven Peter seconds of marketing. Topic. 3. Action The third and final stage requires the firm to set a budget and management systems. These must be measurable touchpoints, such as audience reached across all digital platforms. Furthermore, marketers must ensure the budget and management systems are integrating the paid, owned and earned media of the company. The action and final stage of planning also requires the company to set in place measurable content creation e.g. oral, visual or written online media. After confirming the digital marketing plan, a scheduled format of digital communications e.g. Gantt chart should be encoded throughout the internal operations of the company. This ensures that all platforms used fall in line and complement each other for the succeeding stages of digital marketing strategy.
Topic: <laughs> Understanding the market. One way marketers can reach out to consumers and understand their thought process is through what is called an empathy map. An empathy map is a four-step process. The first step is through asking questions that the consumer would be thinking in their demographic. The second step is to describe the feelings that the consumer may be having. The third step is to think about what the consumer would say in their situation. The final step is to imagine what the consumer will try to do based on the other three steps. This map is so marketing teams can put themselves in their target demographic's shoes. Web analytics are also a very important way to understand consumers. They show the habits that people have online for each website. One particular form of these analytics is predictive analytics which helps marketers figure out what route consumers are on. This uses the information gathered from other analytics, and then creates different predictions of what people will do so that companies can strategize on what to do next, according to the people's trends. Topic. Sharing economy The sharing economy refers to an economic pattern that aims to obtain a resource that is not fully utilized. Nowadays, the sharing economy has had an unimagined effect on many traditional elements including labor, industry, and distribution system. This effect is not negligible that some industries are obviously under threat. The sharing economy is influencing the traditional marketing channels by changing the nature of some specific concept including ownership, assets, and recruitment. Digital marketing channels and traditional marketing channels are similar in function that the value of the product or service is passed from the original producer to the end user by a kind of supply chain. For instance, a typical digital marketing channel is email. Organization can update the activity or promotion information to the user by subscribing the newsletter mail that happened in consuming. In addition to this typical approach, the built-in control, efficiency and low cost of digital marketing channels is an essential features in the application of sharing economy. Topic. See also. Digital marketing engineer Digital marketing system Digital marketing channels in the sharing economy Distributed presence Interactive marketing Mobile marketing Online advertising Pay-per-click Social media marketing Visual marketing Customer data platform User intent